the world of sport and don't forget next Sunday too. I hope you can stay with us as Sports World begins a new era from 9 o'clock here on Channel 7. Back to football and the Melbourne Football Club certainly look to be going places this season. Their recruiting drive appears at this stage to have paid handsome dividends. One in particular has been most impressive in his debut uh, coming over from Western Australia and I'm speaking of Earl Sp Spalding as we welcome him to our world of sports studios. He just got in in the nick of time but here he is talking with another great stayer, Crackers. Well congratulations Earl and uh, well first of all turning up in uh, Victoria and your great game last week against Torhorn. Yeah thanks Crackers, yeah, we're pretty happy with the win. It's a good start, but there's still a long way to go in the year yet, and uh, we're not getting too excited yet, there's still a long way. No, I know that. Now, you, where'd you originally come from? Western Australia, what club? From the Perth Football Club over there. Who yeah. coached you last year? Mal Brown was the coach there. That would have been a, a sort of a cultural experience, wouldn't it? It was, yeah, to say the least, yes. Uh, how long did you, how many games did you play over there? I played 63 with Perth. Now, you're a little bit of a two-sided uh, sportsman because you're a shield cricketer for Western Australia. Ex Shield cricketer, yeah. I suppose. Played four games there two years ago. Two and have you decided to play cricket over here at all? Um, not yet. No, I might have a have a bowl next uh, next season. Just have to see how things go. Now on Tuesday night, when you lined up against Torhorn, you had probably one of the most, and you lined up at centre half back. Is that a position you like? Um, I don't mind it. I haven't played much there over the last few years, but um, where do I don't you usually play there? Centre half forward. Centre half forward, and yeah. you lined up on Dermot Brereton on. Uh, Tuesday night. Supposedly, yeah. he had his yellow, uh, green boots on. It was yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Were yeah. you overawed by him? Not really. I just tried to put my mind to the fact that I um, had to nullify him because he's such a good player. But uh, I wouldn't say overawed, no. Were you glad that he was taken off the ground? Yeah, I did saw a bit of a relief there when he went off. Yeah. How many opponents did you have on the night? Um, I tried... When he went off, uh, Lester Smith came on and he shifted bit further down the ground I think and uh, Dipper came up to centre half forward but he went back to the back pocket and they put another bloke on in the last quarter. So you're quite happy with your form now. I know a little bloke called Warren Dean came over with you from South Western Australia and uh, he he, well, he got four or five didn't he? Kicked four I think yeah. Mm, um, you played a bit of him over in Perth? Played against him a against few times him. yeah. Had you actually played on him? Um, yeah, we played on him last year, the first game we played him, played on him, yeah, he's a good player. Well, where do you envisage playing this year, centre-half back all year or uh, trying to get it centre-half forward? Um, I'm happy just playing anywhere really, centre-half back if I, if I fit in there, well, well, I'm happy playing there, yeah. Well, you made a tremendous debut, there was a big rap on you, just keep it going because what we saw on Tuesday night, if you can keep on that form, you're going to help Melbourne Football Club climb right up the ladder. Yeah, we're hoping for big things this year, thanks. Right, thanks very much. Ta.